Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leather Supply, and this video is just for the spouse, family, and friends of us leather crafters. Not sure what would be a good gift? I'm going to do my best to help out. But before we go there, since I've got us all gathered here, let me make one big apology from all of us leather crafters. We know we spend a lot of time in our shop. From time to time, we're going to fill the house with dye fumes. We're going to borrow things from the kitchen and never return them. So again, just one big apology from all of us. But the other side of that, I hope you're getting some pretty gifts out of our shop. Okay, well let's return that favor. What's a good gift for our leather crafter when we're not really sure what they need or want? I've got a list here and I've run it through a few filters. These are just generic tools any leather crafter would love and we've got multiple price points from really nice tools all the way down to stocking stuffers. So let's see if we can put a smile on your leather crafter's face. Let's start right here for two reasons. The revolving punch, the most commonly used tool in any leather craft shop. But secondly, so many of us own a cheap craft store version. What's going to happen with those is as we punch, these tubes are going to start to wear out and they'll wear out to a point where it won't even punch a hole. To us leather crafters, that's very frustrating. The bigger problem, now I have to throw the whole tool away. That kills me. Not the situation here, replaceable tubes. But also notice, drop forged. This is not cheap bar stock. That is a solid tool. The weight here is actually going to help us as we punch holes. Now, if we have the budget, if the budget dictates, we can jump up to what I consider the best tool on the market. Well, first off, replaceable tubes, but notice the quality there. Secondly, we can replace our anvil. We can even replace this spring. That is a tool that is going to last and last. If I opened a gift with that in it, that would definitely put a smile on my face. Two iconic leather craft tools, a round knife and a maul. Now on the round knife at Weaver, we've got a good selection, most very affordable. But I noticed a lot of us crafters, we buy products simply so we can make more projects. So on a round knife, win, win. But I also notice I've got two shops. I've got my Weaver shop and then I've got my personal shop. My round knife front and center on both tool boards. That's a classic tool. Now right here, a mall, Barry King, stacked leather handle, brass fittings. That's a beautiful tool. Now on a mall, multiple weights available. If you're not sure what your crafter would like, my opinion, I like a one and a half pound. Not too heavy, not too light. You cannot go wrong giving a stamp tool to a leather crafter. In fact, what you're doing, you're just adding fuel to that flame because we love our tools. Well, we look at all of this and think, how in the world am I going to find the right tool for my crafter? First big hint, we are not picky. But secondly, pick something you like. We're going to use it and we're going to love it. But that's a great way to get a, a project out of us, right? But the third route, easiest to go. What genre does our crafter work in? Do they like the Western end of things? Well, right there, that's one of the best barbed wire stamps I have ever seen. Good quality, super easy to line up, and it looks good. Say they like the historical period. We have got all kinds of options from a Crusader cross all the way down to a Celtic knot basket weave. So many options there. Say maybe a nautical theme. There's a great shell, and I use this in all kinds of stamp designs. How about solar? There's a sun and a star. So many ways we can go, and so many of these, very unique. Now, one more point here. We've got two levels of tools. We've got an inexpensive tool, and I love these. Use them all the time, absolutely. But we've also got a step up. That is absolutely a quality tool, and I love them. So either way you go, your crafter is going to love whatever you get them. Here are two gifts that are by no means flashy or expensive, and I don't even know if you'll get a big woohoo when this gift is open, but you're going to get a nod of appreciation because we've got two things here. We use them all the time, but I would never think about putting these on a gift list. So right here, this is our pattern sheeting. We actually have a video on all the ways you can use this in our shop, but the priority, this makes a great pattern material, easy to cut, mark, durable. We can see through it somewhat so we can avoid obstacles. Best part, these pieces are 45 inches long. To me as a crafter, there's nothing more frustrating than to have to splice pieces of poster board together to get a pattern long enough. 45 inches will do just about anything. Now on the daubers, in fact, I buy these by the hundred pack. 
This is a great gift, say a stocking stuffer. Again, something I would never think about putting on a Christmas list, but I can always use those. Let's finish out with our corner knives because I love these. Well, actually, we're going here for two reasons. First off, these are relatively new to Weaver Leather, so most likely your crafter doesn't have one. But the second and bigger reason, since we picked these up, I use these on every project that goes across my table. I always need a round corner punch somewhere. Now, how do we pick the right size for our crafter? We could absolutely get the full set, and that would certainly bring a smile, but it's not totally necessary. Okay, so here's how we do this. So does our crafter tend to work on smaller items like wallets or passbook covers or maybe smaller journals? Let's go with the 9 or the 11 millimeter. That's going to give us a good small outside round corner and a good inside round corner. If our crafter works more on, say, holsters or larger journal covers, larger projects, then I would say go with the 25 or the 30 millimeter. The very smallest and the very largest, we can get to those as we refine our craft. But if I had to pick just one, I'd go with the 25 millimeter or roughly the one inch because this is a good round corner just about anywhere. Now, one big point though, these are not dry punches. We're not going to use a mallet here. These are knives. So to cut a good round corner, there we go. Look how clean and perfect that is. Fast, professional, and exact. These are a great tool for any crafter. Well, I hope this gives you some good options for your leather crafter. Now, I'll say this again because it bears repeating. As leather crafters, we are typically not picky people. But at the same time, any gift you give us, we're going to love it simply because it was a gift from you. Now, here's another option. Our hardworking marketing department. They have put together a beautiful gift guide on the Weaver website. So check that out. And I'm betting between here and there, you're going to find just the right gift for your leather crafter, and you're going to make their holiday. I hope so. Good luck with your projects. Mm -hmm.